Hey Virgos, here with a general reading for the sign of Virgo. So this reading could resonate with anyone who has Virgo strongly in their chart. That said, um, this is again a general reading and it will not resonate with each and every one of you. It might only really fit with a few. Um, but hopefully there's something here that is going to help you in your in your travels forward. All right, Virgo, let's go ahead and shuffle these energies. <clears throat> Looking into what's happening now for the sign of Virgo. Looking into what's happening now, what's happening in the current energy for Virgo. What's happening in the current energy for Virgo, please? What's happening in the... There you, there you are, Virgo. What's happening in the current energy for Virgo? What's happening in the current energy for Virgo? Ooh. One more energy here. What's happening in the current energy for Virgo? What's happening in the current energy for Virgo? What's happening in the current energy for Virgo? All right. Guidance for the next um, short period of time, seven to ten days, two weeks, three weeks, whatever the, however fast you're moving in this next new wave of energy. Please give us some guidance for this group of Virgos, please. Please give us some guidance for this group of Virgos. Please give us some guidance for this group of Virgos. There's another energy. The cards are really talking today for Virgo. One more energy is in here. Guidance for Virgos. There we go. Over the top. I'll um, share with share with you what these cards are before I begin. I know you can see them, but you probably can't see them good enough to know exactly what they are. Kind of hesitating here before I go into the future. I'm not sure why, Virgo. There's a hesitation here. <sighs> And there's a pulling in my abdomen, which means that, like, it could be something you're a little afraid of here. This could scare you just a little bit. I do have a little bit of a headache, too, going into this energy. So you have two five energies here. Okay, I don't want to get pulled into this. Let's look at what's happening next. What's happening in the next seven to ten days, in the next near future, depending on how fast Virgo is moving. What's happening in the next incoming period of time for Virgo? What's happening in the next incoming period of time for Virgo? What's happening in the next incoming period of time for the sign of Virgo? Breathe, breathe, Jody, breathe. What's happening in the next incoming period of time for the sign of Virgo? What's happening in there? I knew it. Those, jeez. Five energies for Virgo. Five change. What's happening in the next incoming period of time for Virgo? What's happening in the next incoming period of time for Virgo? Tower. What's happening in the next incoming period of time for Virgo? What's happening in the next incoming period of time for Virgo? Please clarify the tower. Please clarify the tower. I knew it. I knew that we're moving into this. That's why I could tell it when I started shuffling. Please help us with the tower energy. Queen of Swords. Please clarify the Four of Wands. Please clarify the Four of Wands. Please clarify. I mean, whenever we have the tower, I'm going to set up this reading a little differently. So I'm going to pull some more cards here. Why, why is the five of wands here? Why is the five of wands here? Why is the five of wands here? Four of cups. Why is the king of cups here? Why is the king of cups here for Virgo? Why is the king of cups here? Why is the Six of Pentacles here? Why is the Six of Pentacles here? Why is the Six of Pentacles here, please? Why is the Six of Pentacles here? Two of Wands. Why 
is the six of pentacles here. One more card for the tower. One more energy for the tower, please. One more energy for the tower. One more energy for the tower. Lovers. All right, Virgo. So I am getting into some energy here. <sighs> okay, first let me tell you what cards are here before I get down into this. Because once I'm in here, I'm, I'm moving forward. We have the Hermit energy, which is your this is Virgo energy. Um, we have the Six of Wands with the Five of Cups. That's the current situation. Okay. The Guidance is the Five of Swords with the Queen of Wands and the Empress. Then for the current for the future, this next incoming energy wave, however it however fast it comes in for you, or however fast you're connecting with it or going to meet it. You know, they're just showing me the picture of um, being on the beach, right? And you can stand on the beach and you can stand it, near the water and you can, you know, if you stand still. Okay, what are you showing me? All right, so um, you can stand near the water and you can just stand there. And for a while, the water won't come to your toes. It won't hit your feet, right? This is the ocean that we're talking about. But when the tide comes in, when the momentum comes, when the tide comes in, the water will eventually get to you, right? So if you're standing still and you're not taking action, you're going to, the situation is going to take a little bit longer to reach you to when the tide comes in. But some people, depending on how you are and what this situation is for you, you will walk out to meet the waves. You know, you will walk out to meet the waves. And if you're walking out to meet the wave, then you're going to connect with this wave of energy quicker. So it just depends on if you're standing still and waiting for it to happen, or if you're connecting in with it in a more direct way. That's how that's going to affect the speed here that we're talking about. This is a big story, Virgo. Um, this There is something happening bigger than you and me here. So whatever's coming out, I, I have no control over this. This is a story, and I think it's bigger than the next seven days or the next ten days. I have to be honest with you. Um, I think this story is meant to come out. And um, for some of you, this is a big, huge life change. For others of you, this is a small blip, a small situation that's coming in. So, um, I'm okay, I'm ready. I'm ready to begin. I'm ready to stop procrastinating. So here's the situation. You have this new, something here happened to you with the hermit energy where you, um, something happened where you went into a period of deep learning with the hermit energy. You really couldn't be helped in this situation. Like no matter what people said or no matter who offered to help or no matter who showed up to offer condolences or to um, try to help you, this was really something that you had to really figure out on your own, right? This was something that you had to figure out on your own. And whatever you figured out now, you, you have come out from this cave and for some of you, this was a cave. You've come out from this cave with a new enlightenment on what the situation is. You've learned it fully, right? You've learned what your role in it was. You've learned what other people's role was. You, you've learned, you've seen to the core of the issue. And this could have been difficult for you. Honestly, like the hermit energy is not always the most easy energy, but the hermit energy does take us to new understandings. It does bring us to, to new wisdom, right? It does help. The hermit energy is an energy of, of, if we look into the depths of an experience and we see our role and we see where we um, impacted the situation, whatever the situation was, it doesn't, I'm not talking about fault or blame or any of that. I'm just talking about a human experience. We've seen what our role was and we've seen perhaps that we could change something in our future actions that would lead to a more peaceful or more abundant or a more happy future. 
the hermit energy is beautiful because it will adapt its lifestyle. It will adapt because it, the hermit energy finds enlightenment. The hermit energy leads in life, leads in walking in life and does so in a very um, profound way, not in a loud way, not in a um, over the top way, but in a kind and careful and masterful way, the hermit energy. And so you have come back out into your life again, Virgo, and are walking slightly differently, or you have slightly different plans. Something has changed within you. It doesn't matter at this point what the circumstances were or who did what. You have come out of this period of enlightenment with a different step, a different walk, um, a new plan. Something here is different in you, and your light is shining bright. You are the energy of a master, the energy of a teacher. So um, you could be a teacher. You could be a master in something. But whatever this is, you are shining the light, um, not only for others, but you're also shining the light for yourself here in this in this picture, you're shining your own light for yourself. Okay. What do I mean by that? <sighs> what do you mean by that? This is a deepening sense of self, a deepening sense of your own internal guidance and what, what needs to be done for your own fulfillment in life, for your own happiness and joy and health in life. So not only is your internal light shining for others, it is shining in your own salvation, if, if that's... Okay, then we have the Six of Wands. So what it's telling me is that you're moving out now into your community or out into the public or out into your family or out into your partnership of whatever this community is that's around you, whether it's a, it's a relationship of an intimate partner, whether it's at work, whether it's in the community or in the world, um, you are coming out and speaking your truth. And you're also moving in a very passionate way. There's something within you that um, really cannot be stopped. This is coming from the heart center. This is coming from the solar plexus and the wound center. This is something that it that you feel very passionate about and must be done, either for the good of mankind, for the good of your own fulfillment, for the good of your own happiness, for the good of your own future success. Whatever this is, it has a for the good of kind of a feel. And it's not something that comes from the mind, but it's something that comes from the heart. It's something that comes from the internal lower brains, right? From from the, the abdomen area that, that force that drives us drives us and propels us passionately into new beginnings. We see people here that are congratulating you, right? That are congratulating you, that are that are giving you respect and who are listening to you as you're stepping forward into a new, into a new journey or in uh, stepping forward with some kind of new project or new way of walking that you're in this six of wands energy. People are cheering you on, whether you know it or not, Virgo, people are cheering you on. People want to see your success. People will benefit from your success, right? And so whether you hear it or not, whether you see it or not, there are energies, there are people, there are angels that are cheering you on, my beautiful friend. Please know that. That's part of the Six of Wands energy. That's a vital part of the energy. I'm going to say it again. That is a vital part of the Six of Wands energy. It's the people that are in your surroundings or the angels that are in your surroundings that are cheering you on, giving you respect, and um, somehow you're going to be impacting um, the community in some way, whether it's your family, um, the people around you in your extended family, whether it's the town that you live in or the state that you live in or the world that you live in. This is impacting the people around you. We do have the five of cups energy. So There is a there is a feeling even as you walk as you're walking forward, um, sometimes you could be feeling like there are emotions that are in your shadows. I mean, not in your shadow self of your. This is it's like there there. You're moving forward with with passion, but but sometimes in, in late at night or when you're truly by yourself or after a long day, um, you do feel the sadness of the past. And, and that's part of the journey. That's part of transformation. That's part of moving 
from one situation to another that sometimes the energies can filter through or they can they can they can um wind themselves around us and continue to wind around us as even as we move forward um but that is just a natural thing that happens as a natural thing about changing energy even i i'm a strong energy worker um, I work with energy all the time. I have to work on keeping my energy clean. And sometimes the energies from the past will wind around our current energy and we'll have to work at removing ourselves from that. Um, my beautiful friend, that could even be like post-traumatic stress disorder or something that you're working with, um, even complex. I mean, I'm not diagnosing here, nor do I have the professional um, license to diagnose. That's not what I'm doing, but I'm just saying there are symptoms here of, of going into emotional periods of time where you feel a deep emotion, where you feel like you're being triggered or you feel a deep sadness, but not necessarily anything that triggered it. It's just something that would come across that would, that would hit you hard um, about something in the past or, or that would bring fear up that maybe this new opportunity or this new way you're coming out um, with, with a new, with, with a new you, um, there, there could be fear, insecurity here that sometimes would pull at you, but I see that you're, you're overcoming it because the six of wands is here and the six of wands, that passionate energy will carry you forward through the five of cups. It definitely will. I'm, I'm confident of it. Just know that that is to be expected to have moments of, of insecurity, moments of fear. That is part of stepping through fear. That is part of stepping into a new doorway is is that those feelings that can kind of those energies that can kind of wrap around you that you have to unwrap yourself again and put them back away um, as you move forward all right the, the guidance that's coming forward is um that it looks like in the future here in the next um next future which this is a big story so for some of you this could be in a couple of months for others of you, this is happening in the next seven to 10 days. You'll know how slowly this is happening. Um, I do ask for immediate in incoming waves of energy. So this is something that's currently this group of Virgos are working with. Um, there is a conflict here, but the guidance is, and, and the conflict for some of you and for all of you, it could, it could hurt because we have the five of cups, which is sadness, um, sadness and desolation and devastation, the feelings that come with it. And then we have the five of swords, which is the, the mental agony that comes with it, the confusion that could come with it, the, the having to fight a battle that to you should never even had, have had to be fought. It's like having to fight a battle um, and feeling the unfairness of even having to fight it. That's, that's the energy that I, that I feel here. Um, the guidance that's coming is the Queen of Wands energy. This is a powerful fire energy. The Queen of Wands is the energy of knowing one's true worth, knowing one's true power, knowing your beauty, knowing your worth, knowing this battle is important to fight because what's on the other side is going to be so profoundly healthy for you, so profoundly abundant for you that you know because you have this queen of wand energy and you have this intuitive sense that this is part of your freedom path, that the queen of wands, that fragment within you that helps you to connect with who you are, the beauty of who you are, the capacities, the capacities of who you are, and also the weaknesses of who, of who you are. The queen of wands has learned to manage her weaknesses. She has looked at her shadow side and she has learned how to manage those weaknesses and this creates strength. All right, we do have an Empress energy coming in here. So I feel like this Empress energy is actually for most of you a person. Um, it doesn't have to be a female, it can be a male. Um, but this person has an, um, is, is a, a more feminine energy, someone who is a very creative energy, someone who likes to, for example, paint or um, invent or um, nurture, somebody who is connected to Gaia, someone who is connected to um, the heavens, but it's very much connected to Mother Earth kind of energy. Um, there could be a conflict around this person that's here. Um, also, some of you are working to be able to be your full selves. And I think in a, in, in a way for some of you here, there is a desire to live a full life. 
a desire to be, to be your full person, not an element of yourself or not just a fragment of yourself, but allow yourself to grow and expand and, and um, find fulfillment in all areas of life, not just in career, but also in love, for example, not just in love, not just in being a mother, for example, but also doing something very profound in the community around you. Right. So, so this queen of wands energy, um, for example, that was just an example. Those are just examples that I brought forward. That doesn't have to be your story, but, but those are just examples to help like describe the energies that I feel. All right. So, so that's the guidance here is to really connect with that fragment within you, that queen of wands energy, um, and to, um, to, uh, to remind yourself of your of your own strengths, to remind yourself of your superpowers, because there is a battle here that that you're fighting here with the Five of Swords, um, and that you're able to get through it. One thing I like about the Queen of Wands energy that it's a very intense, short bursting energy, and that tells me that I think this could be over. It could either be here quite soon, or it could be over faster than you think, or faster than you're imagining. Uh, because the wands energy is a fast, passionate energy. Um, and, and it could be that you will be using, um, it, this will either, either happen to you in a very intense, fast period of time where the queen of wands can be very effective, or it will happen over a series, or it has happened over a series of, um, conflict and then silence and then conflict and then silence and conflict and then silence where you're using that bursting of energy. But again, this is very intuitive energy that I feel too, so that you are kind of knowing inside, like, okay, when do I fight? When do I have conflict? When do I come in from conflict? And you're almost in a way picking your battles here in this situation. All right, moving into the future. Boy, this... We have a King of Cups here. So we have the King of Cups, a Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer, masculine energy. Doesn't have to be a male, but this person is a person who takes action in their life to bring in health and healing and empowerment to either a home, a community, or a country or something like that. So the King of Cups is a generous energy, is a kind energy, um, uh, an energy that likes to bring healing and, and resolution into a space. So this is a person who prefers to take action, to take actions of improvement rather than to speak the words. This person is much more comfortable taking action in their life. And in a positive vibration, um, this is a person who is, is very generous, is very heartwarming, really wants to help, really wants the community to grow, really wants a relationship to be strong and loving and stable. In a um, chaotic um environment or in a negative space, the King of Cups can be ma manipulative. The King of Cups could bring um, a very toxic energy into a space. Um, so, you know, there is that combination that I see here, depending on what your situation is, this King of Cups is very much a part of the situation. Um, there is worry here that I think the King of Cups has this worry with the Nine of Swords, or you could be worried about this situation with the King of Cups. The King of Cups could be worried that you are creating a new a new um, reality for yourself. Um, you could be buying a new home, and the King of Cups could be your spouse or your partner, um, and and could be worried about this new home. Doesn't have to be in a breakup of a relationship. This could be in anything um, using these same energies. So there's an Ace of Pentacles here. There's a there's a there's a new improved reality here um, for you, Virgo. And this King of Cups is involved with that reality in some way. And I think that he or she is worried about this new reality. So you could be buying a new home. You know, you could be moving out. You could be starting a new job. So there is a new reality here. There is some kind of a conflict, either with your employers, either with the business that you started, or a project that you're working on, or a relationship you're in, um, and you're working on creating a new reality here, and this King of Cups is worried about that, is what we're seeing. 
Um, if you don't have a King of Cups, this is creating a nourishing environment for yourself, taking action, taking action to create a nourishing environment, a nourishing home, a loving home for yourself, right? And really being anxious about creating that, worried about creating that, having worries on your mind, burdening yourself so that, you know, you'll wake up in the middle of the night in sweats and saying, you know, how am I going to do this? Or how am I going to do that? You know, that kind of an energy. Then we have the five of wands here. So it does look like there's some kind of a conflict um, about something that you absolutely do not like here with the four of cups. There's something here that you do not like. There's something here. There's something here that you don't like, you do not like, and it's probably this conflict or this block or some kind of a problem that's came up. We have three fives. So there's change here. Something is forcing this change or you're trying to force this change. And there's some kind of a block here that you don't like. There is a decision here that you're making in the next short future that has to do with your home, or it has to do with a commitment here. We have the two of swords over the top of the four of wands. Two of swords over the top of the four of wands. And what it's telling me is that this decision this clarity is, is you're going to be making this decision in this very short period of time. You're making a decision about this new reality. Could have to do with a new home or it could have to do with a commitment. It could be a good thing too. Like there, it could be a good thing. You could be exiting out of one situation and moving into another, right? But there is a decision here with the two of swords. You make the decision, you find clarity and it's regarding either a home or it's regarding um, a new passionate beginning. It's regarding a new foundation. It's regarding a very soul connected commitment of some kind, whether that's a romantic commitment, um, a, um, a commitment within a family, a commitment within a um, employment group, a commitment within a community. You're making a decision here on a commitment that you have about a commitment. Remember, something has been blocked here and you're striving for this new improved reality. So um, this, this comes way to the tower. So there's some kind of a major change coming in here with the Queen of Swords. The Queen of Swords is an air energy, um, Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius energy. It's an energy of protection, an energy of expression. Um, the Queen of Swords is a kind of a rough energy um, the queen of swords has been through a lot and she has really um, acquired some scars some rough edges deep inside of her her heart is bigger than any heart she has a strong powerful emotional center um, but the outside of it is crusty the outside of it is a hard shell because she has learned that she has to protect herself. And not only does she have to protect herself, she has to protect other people, people that are weaker, people that live in poverty, people that live in um, turmoil or in violence. She has something here that she's protecting. And there is a major change coming in for her. Um, she's protecting, um, she's making a decision or she's protecting someone who is quite connected with her, the lover's energy we have here. This is a Gemini energy. So we have two energies that could be Gemini here connected to this tower. All right, so we have a tower energy here. Then we also have the Queen of Swords with the Lover's energy, right? So air energy here, um, clarity, understanding, um, ways of thinking, cycles of thinking, protecting something, expressing oneself using words, using um, modes of communication to, to, to express something about this de decision. We have the lovers next to the two of swords. So that tells me that for many of you, there's a decision. Um, maybe there has been a messy love situation here or a messy family situation or a messy work situation that you're now standing in your own power to express yourself um, in a way of defending either your life, defending your new opportunity, defending your decision that you're making, but you're defending something and you're expressing yourself quite powerfully and you could be intimidating the heck out of people, Virgo. You could be intimidating the heck out of people. 
You do have a decision here about love. So this could be a decision about a partner that's very deeply connected to you. It could be a decision to um, change something that has to do with a commitment because we have the four of wands. It does feel sort of messy here somehow. And I'm not just going to assume that it's a third party. It could be pretty much anything, right? It could be that you uh, got a new job, but it's in another state and you have to decide like, are you going to move to it or not? And what's happening to your, what would happen to your relationships? What would happen to your, um, to your um, significant other? What would happen? You know, there is a decision here that's being made and it does connect in with a love energy, love of family, love of a, it's a strong lover energy though. This love energy is very strong. So most of you, this is a love partner or a significant other or something here. Why is the lovers here? Why is the lovers here? In the extended reading, I'll go much deeper into this, um, but there's still something I want to bring out. I'm kind of forcing it right now, but there we go. Knight of Cups. This could be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. And we do have another strong water with King of Cups over here. <sighs> there is an energy of romance, an energy of love here. And that energy goes over the top of the lovers. So there is a decision that you're making about a major change coming in here. Um, that's an energy of love. It has to do with the energy of love and the lovers. So for most of you, this is a romantic relationship or a significant other or something here that has to do with love, like love of between two people um, that you're defending here, some major change. So there's something here that... Um, you're not in agreement with. This doesn't have to be anything you're doing. This could be something that someone else is doing, but you're having to respond. Most of the time, the Queen of Swords is a responder. She plays defense. So she's the defense. King of Cups is the offense. What I really like about the, how this reading kind of ends is we have the Six of Pentacles here, which is balance in finances, generosity, being out in the community. Um, this has to do with Two of Cups and the Nine of Wands. So this does have to do with a partner. So now we have the Two of Cups here clarifying the Six of Pentacles. That is next to the Queen of Swords and right across from the Lover's Energy. The Nine of Wands here is here, which tells me that somebody has been wounded here. Somebody's been wounded. Somebody is though is standing strong. The nine of wands is standing strong in front of what is reality, standing strong, being passionate and not backing down, feeling tired, but not backing down, back, backing down, not backing down. You still have life left in you. Um, Virgo, you still have a lot of life left in you, a lot of passion left in you. And you do see some kind of balancing coming in here with the Six of Pentacles and the Two of Cups. So it looks like there is some sort of steadiness that comes in. There could be a solution. You could be finding a solution to this. You could be gaining some type of a monetary um, reward or monetary gift here that has to do with the Two of Cups. You are wounded, but you have the strength to do this. This is a very interesting reading. This could even be an illness. There, this could be an illness that you guys are going through. This could be some type of restructuring of a company. This could be something to do with a friend even. But I like that after this tower, after the tower, there is some type of financial balance. Like the Six of Pentacles means that you will have enough money to pay your bills, to put away some money for savings, and to go out into the community and either spend money or give to others with the Six of Pentacles. And the Two of Cups 
is a clarifying energy, which talks about that energy mixing with a partner energy. So whatever this decision is that you make in love, it could be a decision to <clears throat> either make things really fair for you. You could be needing to, yeah, I, I'm, the Queen of Swords is talking about equality. She's talking about equality. She wants to be heard here. It has to do with a lover's energy in the Knight of Cups, an energy of love and romance mixed with a lover's energy. This, this is, for many of you, this is a romantic or a, um, a soulmate energy, a romantic soulmate energy. But whatever's coming of this, you're going to feel some kind of financial stability here. And I think that's very important. And then we have the Two of Cups and the energy of some kind of partnership. So whatever this tower is, there is going to be equality here for you. But that's why the Queen of Swords has to come out. Remember, that's why the Queen of Wands is here. Remember your power. Remember your strengths. Remember who you are, Virgo. You're passionate. You're beautiful. You are valuable. You are priceless as a human. You are profoundly gorgeous as a human. You are intuitive and connected. And you're looking for internal health and well-being. So as you move through this surprise or this crisis or this chaos here, ultimately it's going to bring you some financial balance here and equality. Maybe even some generosity is extended towards you. And that is directly connected to a partnership of some kind with the Two of Cups. 36. Well, this is a harder reading. Okay, so Virgo, I am going to move to the extended now. I'm going to look into these energies. We're going to dig deeper into the situation. I'm probably going to take away all the clarifiers and re-clarify and see what else I can get here. And then we're going to move into the future a bit and we'll lose, use the dowsing rods to look at timing. So that's what I'm going to be doing in the extended reading for Virgo. For those of you who are looking for more information, uh, feel free to move me to um, the other platform where I do the extended readings. And for those of you that are satisfied with this for the next period of time, that makes me happy um, that you are. And I wish you all the best. Um, you do have the capacity to work through this. You really do. I like the most powerful spirited queens are here, the Queen of Wands and the Queen of Swords. And these fragments within you will really pull you through this. And I do see it kind of stabilizing as, as we move out of this next wave of energy. All right. This was kind of a hard reading. Um, Virgo, you're making it though. You're absolutely making it. It's, it's time is the time is here now to make some important changes in your life. And just, I like that you have the Six of Wands here. This, this is something that you're needing to do to bring more equality into your experience. Thank you, Virgo.